hello everyone in this video we will be discussing about how to create a virtual environment and how do we install django in, inside the virtual environment so before we start installing the or start creating the virtual environment let us see the whether python is installed in this system or not so by default uh, macbook pro comes with a python installations uh, we can uh, check that by typing this command python 3 space minus minus version it will so this is the version which is installed in uh, in this system python 3.9.6 you can also check what python 3 when you install python 3 it also comes with pip uh, pip where pip is a package installer so you can check the version of pip by typing py, pip 3 space minus minus version so that you can see here the pip is also installed so once we have python and pip uh, we can start creating virtual environment uh, so before i uh, discuss how do we create virtual environment uh, first let us know uh, why it is essential to install anything in a virtual environment so virtual environment creates an isolated space where you install various packages for a particular project so these packages are not installed centrally when you install in a virtual environment and uh, so that it does not interfere with other projects suppose if you have multiple projects using various uh, different versions of a particular package you can create isolated environment so that uh, you can have multiple versions of the same package to be installed so it gives that comfort where you have a isolated space where you install all the packages which are relevant to that particular project without disturbing the other projects so that's what is the advantage of virtual environment and uh, so we can also check first whether this django has been installed in the central level so if you type uh, this command django hyphen admin space minus minus version so you can see that uh, the command is not found which means that centrally django is not installed in this system so we can uh, first create a virtual environment so for that uh, i create a project uh, and i create a directory and within this directory i would like to create a virtual environment so let me create a directory as we have seen in the previous uh, videos so you can use the basic mkdir command to create the directories so let me call that as django projects so it creates this directory called as django projects in the current folder uh, so i would like to enter into this django folders so you don't need to type everything you can press the tab button it will automatically take you to the it will auto complete uh, and uh, so now I am in the Django projects folder so this is where uh, I would like to create one more folder for all the projects Django projects so let so use some mkdir projects and uh, cd into it so so once we cd into it uh, you are entering you you will be entered into this project so so now uh, I would like to create a virtual environment here so creating a virtual environment differs uh, from windows and mac uh, this system is mac so i'll be explain how to install virtual environment in mac whereas uh, i'll also show what is the equivalent command in windows so that uh, uh, virtual environment can be installed in windows also so so the first to create virtual environment uh, this command is same in both windows and mac or any other linux so python uh, minus m so v e n v and my v e n v or you can type you can give any name of the virtual environment so this is the name of the virtual environment you can give it anything like a test or a demo or a any other uh, uh, name for virtual environment so when i type this and enter so you can see that i'm using python and not the python 3 therefore i got this error so you can just change it to python 3 
and enter uh, so this will create the virtual environment uh, you can see here this folder is also visible here my env is the virtual environment which has been created in this uh, folder called as projects so within this virtual environment i would like to install django uh, before we install django first we need to activate the virtual environment and that can be done in mac uh, using this command source my env slash uh, bin slash activate so if you type this uh, it will enter into the virtual environment you can see here before this was not there you can see here uh, whereas now we are inside the virtual environment so the equivalent command uh, in windows i would like to show so suppose uh, one second so the equivalent command in windows is something like this so we have uh, this is a if at all if your virtual environment name is demo so you can use dot slash demo slash scripts slash activate this will activate the virtual environment uh, in windows this command is same python 3 minus mv and for creating it is same but activating the command differs between mac and the windows so use the relevant command so once we have created the virtual environment this is where we would like to install our django uh, so let us uh, use our pip package manager to install django so you can specifically mention what version of django you would like to install but i am not doing here anything i am just installing the default version of the django so pip space install space django if you click on this uh, django will be installed in this uh, particular uh, virtual environment as you can see it also installs various other packages uh, like uh, sql parts there are various other things which you can see here so we have installed uh, django you can test that by typing once again django hyphen admin space minus minus version you can see the version number of the django it is 4.1.7 and uh, now you can create the projects so let us create the first project in django so type django hyphen admin space start project space you can give the name of the project so i'll call it as my first django so this is the project name django project name i have created so let me type ls you can see here the project the django project has been created so we can enter into it and see what sort of files does it have so you can see that uh, there is one more folder called as my first django and also manage.py so this manage.py we use very frequently to run server to migrate and various other things uh, let us also see what do we have in uh, my first django folder so you can see uh, there is a settings.py file urls.py file which we use very often uh, when we are running the when we are building web applications so these are the uh, this is the first step in creating the django project in the next video we will be uh, creating an app and connecting the django project to the app and uh, build a simple uh, applications uh, and uh, i'll show it to you